Hey y'all, welcome to Heritage Ways. This is Project 54 here at Heritage Ways, and we are here at Heritage House, where we have a lot going on today. Mr. Patient is doing some, some work over there, so we always put those videos out on Patreon about the house and the work on the house and so forth. But today is canning season week here at Project 54. And today is episode 49. I want to share a recipe that is from the cookbook written by a dear friend of mine. And I want to tell you about her cookbook and where you can get that. But the recipe comes straight out of that. And that is going to be pickled green tomatoes from my friend Jennifer Williams, who is over at Rekindled Roots down in Alabama. <laughs> now, before we get started any further I want to explain this is from my friend Jennifer Williams a real life friend we met through Heritage Ways social media but we've met in person two or three times had picnics with each other's families and it's really a joy to call Jennifer my sweet good friend her brand is Rekindled Roots and this is homestead cooking with Rekindled Roots classic recipes from our home to yours I can tell you this is a labor of love for my friend Jennifer. I know that because my own cookbook is a labor of love for me. And I know she worked on this for quite a while before she put it out as an ebook. So you can purchase it as an ebook and print it off, which is what I've done. And I put it in this binder. And I will put a link down in the description box where you can go and purchase Jennifer's very economical cookbook and it's very worth it because this is I mean there's t at least two or three recipes on each page and it's just she has a big family so she <laughs> cooks quite often as you can imagine she is um, just the, the, the her her talents just amaze me at what she can do but yeah we've got 155 pages so i urge you to go over and check out jennifer's cookbook all right today we're doing um from page 150 and i want to thank jennifer for giving me permission to uh share this recipe with you out of her cookbook so on page 150 the pickled green tomatoes from my garden. I have a mixture of Cherokee, um, purple Cherokee, German Queen, um, I think I have one Roma in here. I've got um, maybe beef steak. I've got just a, a mixture of green tomatoes. So you want really firm green uh, tomatoes. I didn't choose any that were starting to ripen. So it's almost like a tomatillo, almost, if you're familiar with what a tomatillo is. I'm about to chop, I'm going to core, I'm going to take the core out of the tomatoes, and I'm going to quarter them. So I'm going to just, you can probably leave the core in, that's just a personal preference. I'm just going to kind of cut it apart, and I just don't want to have to eat around it when I'm eating it. So quartered tomato okay jennifer's dill pickle brine recipe and she uses this dill pickle brine in a lot of her pickling recipes which again jennifer is about um authenticity and thoroughness and simplicity and just basic goodness and i appreciate that about her and her family and her recipes just really true true and solid so that's the same with her cooking as well so we have a dill pickling brine that she uses for um, most of her pickling recipes at least the ones that are in the cookbook so we have eight and a half cups of water we did use pure water from our Berkey two and a fourth cups of white vinegar and a half a cup of pickling salt I've brought this to a bowl, and right now I've got it on low with the lid on just to keep it hot. And I also have my canner, my pressure canner, but y'all know by now I use this for water bathing as well. But I've got the water in it on low, and I'm using the same water that I've used the past two or three canning videos. <laughs> Jennifer's recipe is a quart uh, for quart jars, and... Um, 
I want to do it in pint jars. So what I'm going to do is write her recipe down below in the description. But what you see me doing is going to be for pint jars. So I'm just halving the amount of seasonings that she puts in each quart jar and I'm putting those in pint jars. So in every one of her quart jars she puts a half a teaspoon of mustard seed, six peppercorns, a clove of garlic, and one hot pepper. Now today I only had three cayenne peppers in my garden <laughs> so I actually cut these into little pieces <laughs> to make them go further. Okay I've got my jars in the oven staying warm I pull out two at a time, and I'm going to put the peppercorns, a piece of cayenne, my mustard seed, and a piece of garlic in each one. Now obviously this is something that needs to even after it's canned, they need to stay in the jars for a while before you um, eat them because the spices need to impart the flavor in the tomatoes. Now, this is not a sweet green tomato pickle. Um, I'll be making that in another video, Lord willing. And I'm using wide mouth. And I'm just packing them in there. This is raw pack or cold pack, if you want to call it that. But my jars are hot and my brine is hot. It helps to have the different sizes of the tomatoes, too. And I'm actually going to make enough jars. Whoa. Uh -oh. Woo. Once I run out of the brine, that's when I'll stop. So we'll see how many pints this makes for me. putting these in the hot water bath and the water is already very hot same temperature as my brine <clears throat> everything needs to be the same temperature that's so key if not you're gonna have cracked jars Okay, I actually have two, four, six, eight, eight pints in here, and I probably have enough brine for at least two more pints, is what I'm going to say. So I'm going to say this recipe makes at least five quarts. If you're using just one batch of brine, obviously you can multiply the brine recipe. Jennifer's recipe says to have water just up to the neck of the jars. So that's where we are at this point. The recipe says bring water to just before a boil, about 15 minutes, and then remove the jars from the canner, invert them, and set them on a towel. Cover them with a towel and let cool overnight. I want to let you know too that Jennifer's cookbook has a lot of canning recipes, has a lot of just all kinds of recipes, every meal, every occasion. Uh, she's also, if you follow her on Instagram and YouTube at Rekindled Roots, she is just the most wonderful party organizer and planner for her children's birthday. So I urge you to go give her a follow on YouTube and Instagram and um, of course check out her cookbook link.
So it made two, four, six, eight pints of pickled green onion, uh, tomatoes. Look, they all sealed so far. Yes, everything is sealed. And it looks so pretty. Look at that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.